Hey everybody. <clears throat> All right, I want to do some pen and fountain pen um, swatching, show and tell, etc. And oh, and I got my nails done. I never get my nails done unless it's a special occasion. So the last time, last two times, six years ago for my daughter's wedding. And then four years ago for my 40th class reunion, high school class reunion. So last night my daughter and my granddaughter and I all went and got our nails done. I just felt like doing it. I'm like, you know, I've been watching too many YouTube videos. <laughs> That's the problem. And everybody has beautiful nails. And um, yeah, so I got glitter on everyone except the ring finger. I got a darker blue and they painted snowflakes on it. It's so pretty. Anyway, so my swatching, I have been doing it in here. Um, and I actually did it here to start, but I've changed up some of my colors. Um, and I want to go back where I've got it set up to actually do color swatching, which is back here. So I thought I would start, <clears throat> and oh, I was going to open my computer because I've got information on it. So uh, on some of the pens, uh, I want to do that. Um, let's see. Oh, my daughter messaged me too, so I want to make sure that there's nothing I need to know or do. Okay, we're good. We're good. Okay, I just wanted to be sure. Kind of felt like make sure I don't miss any messages from her. And I've got the pen information right there. All right, so I have um, currently I have three types of fountain pens. Three brands, I should say. Now, I would started with the Pilot um, because these are, um, and actually I'm going to swatch first in something else. I'm not even going to swatch there first. Um, I'm going to use this for my guide, especially for the fountain pens, because I, I want to get the names right. So actually, I don't need this. I thought I did so I will put my computer back up here out of the way okay so I want to swatch in here because um, this is the one I want to take with me so that I've got it um, I haven't had like when I color swatch if I don't have um, a reference to like oh I have color swatch there you know and I think I'll put it in the middle of the book. It looks like I cut something out here, so this is probably a good spot. Um, and the, okay, so I started with the Pilot um, MR Retro Pop Collection. They're all a 1.0 um, millimeter stub nib. And <clears throat> I do have different inks. So uh, I just keep my inks in here. So let me just pull out. So for Pilot, these are the inks that I use. I get them on Amazon. I bought these on Amazon. These are a really good beginner thing, and I'll tell you the only thing I don't like about them. Um, so I get the black. Um, this is supposedly like an international uh, type of cartridge. And all the cartridges are different. I just, let me show you. This is what the Pilot cartridge looks like right here. And then the Sailor cartridge, let me get one of those out. I love the Sailor ones because, I mean, this is where I'm supposed to open it. Oh, dearie, dearie. This is normal for me. <laughs> They come in these little plastic boxes, and there's three to a box, and can she open it? She can to open it. Come on, seriously. Okay, so they come in here, and they come in little protected things. So here is what they look like. 
<laughs> totally different, right? I've tried all these in different ones. And then I've got my ones that are my, um, for this other pen I've got, a Dryden Designs pen. And they have a totally different one. Isn't that just crazy? Look at this. So here, here is the Pilot. Here is that Dryden Designs, and they're so different. And then here is the Sailor. They're all different. I can't, they're not interchangeable. <laughs> Pardon me. And um, yeah, isn't that the craziest thing you ever heard? I'm just like, really, I mean, seriously. Ugh, so insane. So anyway, I have been using the um, these for like, oh my gosh. I've probably been using these for five years, four or five, five, at least five years, I would say. And I use purple in here, and this is for my faith journaling. And I use sepia in here, and I've been using this for my tracker. And then the black... Um, I use in these two. So I'm just gonna show what they look like. Um, let's go with the purple. Now I haven't used this for a few days, so I usually go back here and kind of revive. And this is the one thing about the Pilot pen. One of the things is that the ink, even with the calf on, um, it dries up if you don't use it for a few days. You gotta kind of revive it. The other thing is this tends to leak and you get, when you put the cap on, you get this pool or this mess of somehow extra ink in the cap. So then it gets on here. And when you're writing, you then transfer that ink to your skin. It's very annoying. It gets here, so you get, and you can get it all off, but it's just, oh, it's just messy. And, I, and I'm disappointed that that is the case with these. But like I said, they were a good beginner pen for me. So this is the, and I print. So this is the Pilot MR. I gotta watch my time. I've got Yulikaga in the oven. And I will be going with my daughter to a couple of craft stores today, maybe Starbucks. We'll see. So this is the Retro Pop. Okay. Um, purple. And it's a 1.0 millimeter stub. Nib, oh, nib not nip. <laughs> and then it is um, Pilot, the ink, uh, ink cartridges. I don't get expensive fountain pens. I'm, Probably someday I will, but not, not yet. So the ink is Pilot Namiki Purple. And I thought this was like an international cartridge, but yeah, I'm not so sure. <clears throat> I see people doing these swatchy things all the time, and I'm not like professional at it, but I'm going to just kind of copy things I've seen, and I'm going to do a sad looking little flower, and um, that was a bad leaf, one leaf. <laughs> okay, and then um, if you were writing with it, you would go A, B, oh, I cannot write worth anything. I, I feel like I've forgotten cursive, and I grew up in a time where I should not have forgotten cur cursive. Okay, so that's that one. That's the purple. And, oh, excuse me, sneezing and 
Then I have a runny nose. Just a pain in the neck. Ugh. All right, the next one is my sepia. Okay, and let's write with that. So we have, um, again, the Pilot Metro Pilot MR. I do love the sepia color. My hands are shaky today. I am not writing especially smooth straight lines. <sighs> I don't know why. Probably because I was rushing around in the kitchen before I came over here. <clears throat> Stub nib. This is also the ink is ink cartridges. And we have um, Pilot Namaki Namiki <laughs> Sepia. I do love this. It's really it's really nice. We'll just do this. I just love this sepia color so much. Yeah, then we'll do my little flower like that. That's really poor, but I'm just doing it fast. And we see, it's so awful doing this when my hands are not as steady as they should be. All right, that's the sepia. Love it. Um, and now the black is the last one. <clears throat> I won't be do, able to do all the sailor colors and the other colors because I um, can't like switch the pans out and, and do that quickly. So then we have the black, um, these two bodies. Okay, thankfully that's good. And I'll just do one, but I'm going to put both colors on here. So I have the Pilot MR. Again, retro, pop, sepia, and the one point. Oh, and then we've got, not sepia. Oh, Terry, Terry. What we're going to do is put the two colors down below. Um, so we'll do it that way. So pop, and we've got um, turquoise. which is this one. I love this color. And then I have this beautiful green. Oh, I love all the colors. But, um, yeah. And green. Okay. And then we got the ink cartridge. Oh, and this is also the 1.0 mm stub nib. I only have one other kind of nib. I th well, I do have a different nib in here, actually, in my other one that I'm using. So, something different, right? So, Pilot. Can't spell Pilot. <laughs> Isn't that terrible? Oh, my gosh. Namiki. Black. Even if I can't spell my word correctly. So, this is the black two, three, one, two, three. Maybe I can draw my flower a little prettier. And my leaf. And A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I. Okay, so there's that collection of pants. And I use this in my faith journal. I've been using this in my tracker and I just use this for taking notes um, from books and stuff. So nothing, <clears throat> nothing major. 
All right. I'm sorry, my nose is... Oh, the sneezing, what can I say? All right. Oh, goodness gracious. Okay, so yeah, I like that, that's nice. So let's go now, the next one I have is this, um, what is this one called? And I have a bunch of inks for this, way too many inks. Apparently I thought I was gonna do more with this pen <clears throat> than I did. This is very comfortable to hold, this <clears throat> diameter, but this diameter is much thinner and um, it's okay, but I don't really care as much for it. I like the little bit fatter barrel to hold. Um, but anyway, the ink is a Jean, it's called Jean Howe, and also their ink. They sent me 12 black and 12 blue with the pen, and um, it's going to take me forever to use it. Uh, right now I'm using it for work, or my daily log, but um, I'm going to use it for note taking, I think for school, and get all those <clears throat> cartridges used up. But I did try, like, here's the blue of theirs. You get this box of blues and blacks. And here is um, the green, the Jean Howe green, which is in here at the moment. Um, and you also get their blue, uh, their black, they have purple, red, and red. This is red red and orange so um it was a pack of six colors that i got so the green i can at least write the green um and I'll, there's different colors and um, eventually i'll get them in here but for now i'm just gonna put um this also just pulls off it's not a screw on <clears throat> lid at, thing at all and um this is the Dryden Designs. So that's the green. The, ye the yellow and or the orange was um, too light. See, now I'm capitalizing the whole thing. <laughs> this is Dryden Designs. This was an inexpensive pen. I just wanted to try another pen, so I did. And this is what I got. So, yeah. Um, and it is the Modern Classic. Fountain pen. You see the ink is not the best because see, you get little um, dots where it's darker. I just, yeah. And the color is luscious pink. And there's two nibs. There's the regular nib on this. There is also, um, this is a different nib like if you compare it to their regular nib, um, let me see if I can get it out of here. This is the regular nib, so here you can see the difference. Yeah, this is like um, kind of like a really fine point nib. Um, I'm sure it probably says in here somewhere, but yeah, I'm not super happy with this one. I'm just going to use it up and yeah, and I think that'll be it. So the color in here is apple green. So this is ink, the ink. Yeah, and if you don't write for a little bit, it like the tip dries up and you got it. Ink cartridge. You got to write again and yeah. See, I don't care for it. I'm going to use it for taking notes or something. So that is called Jean Howe. And the color is apple green. And, um, yeah. 
just not, not the best. I just felt like, yet yeah, a cheaper, but cheap, just too cheap. Um, live and learn, right? I didn't spend a lot of money on it. So not a big deal. All right, then my last ones are the sailor pins and my most recent purchases. And I do like these. I love them actually, They're, it's plastic. I mean, I like it. I like the way they sound <laughs> and I like them. So I've got two fountain pens and one um, food, food day, food day, I think that's how you say it. I don't really know. And these are Sailor. And they're all a little bit different. And I love the ink. I ordered the ink for it. And I just, it's so cute, you guys. Oh my gosh, it's just crazy. Anyway, look. You get your ink in this little box. It comes in this cute little box. Look, Sailor Shikiori. Shikiori. Um, is the type of ink it is. And um, I got three colors. Um, I got a purple, a red, um, kind of a gray blue, a brighter blue, and a beautiful darker green. I have used, um, right now, let's see. Um, oh, that's over there. Right now I've got two color, I've got black, and what's the other color? I got green, red, red. I was using green, but um, I switched it. So these are different sailor pants. So this one, I love this one, this is the first one, and this is a Le Cool. So let's put that here and we're going to put, see the red, isn't that beautiful? And this just writes beautiful and I don't get that messy inside the cap stuff. Oh, I just love it. Sailor lit, and I spelled it wrong. Let's just cross that off. L-E-C-O-U-L-E. -E. And this is um, Power Stone Color. The body of the pen. Power Stone Color is Rose Quartz. Fire, rose, quartz, oh my gosh, I love this so much. Um, fire, fine, fine, <laughs> fire, oh my gosh, fine. I believe that fine is the tip of the pen. Okay, and this is the red of the chic, what's it called? The Sailor Shikiori, Shikiori. So the ink cartridge. Is Sailor. I don't know why I didn't write that down correctly. So let's see. It's sh 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 <laughs> Sailor Shiki Ori. And since it comes from Japan, I don't know what the color is called. Um, the color is, it's a bright blue. And the, they spell it, I can't hardly read it. You, key, uh, Kari. 
Yuki Akari. I believe that's how that goes. Uh, that's not, that's bright blue. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I need help, you guys. This is so bad. Let's try this again. <laughs> I have red in here. Oh my word. Can you believe it? I'm just like making, making mistakes. All right, we are going to call this bright red. And it is I. I think that's an I. R O R I. Wow, Terry, Terry. I just love the Sailor inks. I love the Sailor pens. These are inexpensive Sailor pens, um, but so nice, truly. All right, and then what was I doing? The flower, the leaf, A, B, C. They just write smooth. The ink is beautiful. Um, I love the sound. They actually close by the cap screws on. So that's way better as well. So now let me, oh goodness, I got a lot of beeping going on there. Some messaging going on. <laughs> A little bit noisy. All right. Um, do I have black in here? No. So I don't know what the black is. I don't have the wrapper anymore for the black ink. All right. So this next sailor pen. Look at how beautiful this is. This is the Sailor Prophet Junior. See if I can write without mistakes this time. And um, this is color is lilac, and it is medium. They said medium fine. I why they said medium fine, I don't know, but they did. And this is just ink cartridge. And it's um, Sailor. And it's it's black, but it's not a really dark black. Um, I may be getting to the point. It's, it's almost kind of blue. It looks blue. I keep wondering if it's a really dark blue and not actually a black. I don't know. I don't think it's black. So I'm just gonna put a kind of a question mark there since I am not 100% sure what it is. Okay, love it, love it. The sailor pants screw on and I love that. Look at this also with this green um, from this cheap uh, pen. It just like went right through here, which is super annoying. Yeah. All right, and this is the Sailor. Why didn't I write that down? Huh. I guess I do need my, I guess I need this so I can see what it is. It is the Sailor Food Day, if, if that's how you say it, brush pen. Um, so let's just do that here and just look. So it's kind of, I don't know if you can see how it tips up 
a little bit. And I haven't really learned, I'm sure it's not for printing, that it is for writing uh, cursive, but um, I haven't practiced that at all. So I'm gonna just print it to start. So it's beautiful. Sailor. Food, and then it says um, brush pen. And it says food. I don't know why it has this extra name on here. Food day. M A N N E N. So um, that's what that's called. It's a fine. It says medium fine as well. So I don't know. Medium fine. Not quite understanding um, why it says that, but it does. So we're just going to put that there. Medium fine. Now you can go, okay, you can go like a line, two, three, one, two, three. You can turn this upside down and go one, two, three, two, three. This is upside down. Uh, you can't write very well that way. Let's go upside down for here, okay? Um, I've never like drawn, it's not really for drawing the flowers and stuff, so it's not made for that. Um, and it's just the black, A, B. I don't do the writing, the beautiful letter writing. Sorry. Sailor, ink, cartridge. Yeah, see it's not meant for printing like this and quick, it just isn't, it's not meant for that. So, yeah, so if this is black, that cannot be black. That is a different color and I don't know what it is. And I had some black, but that is not black. <laughs> that other one. Yeah, so I love that, I love it. Now, one other thing I did I bought some ink. I, I have a dipping pen, so let me watch my time here. I'm not watching my time. I have a dipping pen right here. I'm gonna do one more thing and then I'll be done with the fountain pens and I'll do a different, I'll do a different one for the other pens, but it's a glass dipping pen. Um, I don't know where it's from. Here, MX, MX made, something like that. It's a handmade glass pen. I've got some ink. I tried a glittery gold ink, which did not work. Um, this is just Winston and Newton calligraphy ink for brush and dip pens. So I just made sure I got one that was for both. And this, I love it. You know, um, the, you keep so, it keeps, these pens collect so much ink on them that you can really write for a long time. So I'm just going to say, I don't know what this is, but I'm just going to go, it's just beautiful, you guys, I love it. Um, it's a handmade glass dipping pen. Oh, it's so beautiful. Dipping pen. Um, and it is M X M Are made? I don't know. <laughs> um, but it's gorgeous and pretty sure it comes from Japan. 
pretty sure we're just gonna put that there and this is um, Windsor and Newton so the ink is Windsor be careful Windsor and Newton and it is just um, it's calligraphy ink and it's violet just violet so calligraphy ink and violet and let's just do this so beautiful on my Christmas list I've got jar a whole jar set of inks so yeah it's gorgeous G-H-I. Um, yeah, I really like it. Just beautiful. Just beautiful. And it lasts forever like that. A B C D <laughs> I'm just doing I just like it. Yeah, very happy with it. So then I just you just put it in to clean it up. You just put it in water. This is really like the easiest thing ever for cleanup. Yeah, I'm really happy with it. And um it's a beautiful color. It really is. All right, so that's it for the um, pens, uh, the fountain pens, and I hope you enjoyed that. And then I'm just going to come back later with all my other pens that I use in my journals, or my planner, actually. So thanks so much for watching, guys. Bye.